Hello again, Edmund Pinion back with another knife review. And today's review is going to be on a IA blade. I don't know, I've never heard of them until I saw this knife and tried doing some research, but I couldn't find anything about them. But, um, so I have no clue who they are. I don't even know the model number of this knife blade. It just says on the blade, AI blades. That's it. Um, didn't come with a box. And, uh, what really drew me to it was the fact that it kind of reminded me of a Rick Hinderer Zero Tolerance knife. And I think that's pretty much what it's modeled after. Um, so, yeah, pretty much like a budget friendly version of a Zero Tolerance Rick Hinderer knife. Um, what you have here are honeycomb textured, I believe it's wood grips, or wood grip scale. And then you got the full liner, and then you have a full frame lock liner on this side, which also has a lock bar stabilizer underneath. Commonly known as a Rick Hinderer lock bar stabilizer. Um, quite nice. Uh, has a right hand tip down pocket clip. Unfortunately not reversible. Has a lanyard hole. Nice lanyard hole. Dual thumb studs and a finger flipper. Centering is off quite a bit but no rubbing. It is an assisted opener. Oh, that one didn't open very... Oh, there we go. You get a nice drop point blade, it's hollow ground, you can see AI blades. Uh, it's coated with probably titanium nitrite and the blade length is around four inches near for it, if not exactly. Um, no model number on it. Locks up nice with that frame lock. feels good in hand. Um, the jimping doesn't do anything, but it's quite ergonomic and that honeycomb grip really helps. So it's pretty nice, I must say. I really like this knife actually. I'm very surprised at it. I've been wanting a Rick Hinderer type knife, but I didn't want to spend too much money, and I wanted one that reminded me a lot of a Zero Tolerance one. So this one's fit the bill pretty nice. Um, my only complaint would be the pocket clip not being reversible, but other than that, I do really like it. You see it's a pretty big knife. So, I'd recommend it if you find it. Um, I don't know where you can find them. I found mine at a uh, truck stop, gas station, so. <laughs> but, and got it, I think, for, it was like $16. But, pretty nice, pretty nice buy and find must say I do recommend it if you find it so alright it's my review thanks for watching God bless